I'm gonna update the thing of this directory right here. So as you can see, it's live. We c you can find this at the tattooshopaustralia.com. This directory has around 3000 listings. Now we captured the listings here from the GFAS scraper. So we will be using this custom prompt that I'm providing you to create another team which we will be testing for this Todd Opus 4. So it's quite expensive, 75 dollars per million token so we will be spending a bit of money here but hopefully the result will be worth it and let's see how much we will need to spend in order for this custom prompt right here to be followed correctly and the result will be comprehensive enough watch the pricing right here so without further ado what we're gonna do is of course we need to modify the ones in our local computer so as you can see here i am browsing the local url which is the tattoo.local so that's the one we will be modifying using Klein and with this model right here Claude opus 4. now these are the files for the tattoo directory listing in our local so we will create the new theme right here with this cloud opus 4 model now this prompt right here will be effective if you are capturing the listings from GFAS scraper. If you are capturing from somewhere else, that's fine, not a problem, but make sure you identify correctly the custom fields right here. Let's say for example, you capture your listings from Outscraper. You put your Outscraper fields right here and make sure you change these ACF fields that are already defined here. So you just take a look, which are the ACF fields you need to change. But if you're gonna get the listings from GFA Scraper here, which is quite cheaper than Outscraper, and once you already acquire your listings right here, column names right here will be matching the custom fields so you don't have to change anything. Now for this demo, we will be getting the data from GFA Scraper. And since we already have the data for these tattoo shops and we will just need to modify the theme, we can straight away run this custom prompt right here. So what you're gonna do, take a copy of this. So I'm gonna get a copy and paste it to a blank notepad because we will need to change the folder configurations right here so that this will run correctly. So the folder name, I'll just say, so we'll just say tattoo shops team opus four without spaces. Now the site title will be, uh, so we will have it like that tattoo shops in Australia. Now the custom post key will be this one. So all our listings will be added here in the tattoo shop. Since we already have the listings right here already uploaded, we just need to add the same custom key that we use here because we just need to change the theme. Now the custom taxonomy will be state because we are categorizing it based on the state. Then the theme name, I'm just naming it same as the folder but uh, without the underscore and category name. So it depends how you want your listings to be named. So for me, because my listings are more about tattoo shops, so I'll just have it as the tattoo shops right here and country will be Australia. The color palette will be optional because we will be using Opus 4. We will let Opus 4 to decide the color palette, so I'll just remove that. And since our listing is already existing, I don't need to create ACF fields, so I'll just remove this as well. And to remove the palette, so you go to line 29 or 28 to remove the instruction here that says to use the color pal palette defined here. So that's all the configuration you need. Now, we're gonna copy all this, copy, and one more thing we need to remove is this last instruction right here to create the ACF field because we already have the listings and we will now prompt this single prompt right here with the model Opus 4. I just need to make sure I will be using the Opus 4 model right here uh, using Klein. So I'm just going to change this. So here we're going to copy this and make sure you correctly paste that here. All right, now we're using the Opus 4 model and let's see how much we're going to spend because it says here $75 per million token, but don't worry guys, this won't to get you to a million token so that it may cost more than sonnet 4 which we spent only one dollar when we created the team using that now we're gonna try this using the opus 4. we're ready to run this custom team i'm gonna copy this and head back to climb let's paste this using the opus 4 model and hopefully this is worth the spent we will be doing to test how the quality of team it will give us let's go ahead and run this so guys opus 4 completed the task and you see the comprehensive overview of what it's done and it costs us $6.2 which is a little bit expensive than what we expect. Using Sonnet 4 we just spent less than a dollar but we still get decent WordPress team but let's see if this is worth the $6.25. Now let's go ahead and activate this team so we should now be seeing the new team in our dashboard. So here we go to appearance and then we go to themes and let's see, I'm pretty excited how it will appear. This one is the tattoo shop theme of 4. Hopefully we didn't waste our $6.25. So let's activate this. That's activated. Now, the moment of truth, let's have a look at how Opus 4 created our directory team. 
All right, so here it goes. From the way it looks, nothing special. Uh, but it followed all the instructions that we need. So this is the important testing. So it should load the city here. I'll go to New South Wales. All right, that's good because it's an expensive model. So it should get this JavaScript instruction. Now here are the browse by state. Now we had a frequently asked question. And that's one issue because it's not the Borgian is not working. We will need to correct that. And this is how it displayed the uh, popular tattoo shops around Australia. So let's take a look at one of the listing. All right. So this is how it displayed the uh, featured image. It has some different styling here, type of business tattoo shop rating, which is quite nice. It uses a different approach of icon. We have the website and we have the feature service, which is rendered nicely here. The nearby tattoo shops. All right. It looks fine. And we have the proper breadcrumbs, which is okay. Let's go to Queensland. So this is how it lists the tattoo shops based on the state level. Pretty nice. So let's go here. And this is how it displays the tattoo shop in city level. Let's see. I want to see with the opening hours. Let's check this on listing right here. The image is quite large. Um, this is how it displays the working hours, which is pretty nice. And I like this one, the features and service. The way it displays, it's pretty comprehensive. And we have the footer right here. Now, I'm gonna copy the logo and the hero image and then the stakes image to see how it will look like. So again, we spent $6.25. So let me just copy the old uh, assets file here in our previous team. So let me grab this. I'll just copy this and paste it inside assets. So we should now have the images of the state. Let me refresh. All right. That's all the image. And the only thing is the origin. It did not get it correctly. And another comment is the how it rendered the image. It's too big, but that's fine. It's workable. And the good thing is how it displayed this feature services right here. And so let me know, guys, if the $6.25 we spent using Opus 4 to create this directory is worth, or we just keep using this audit 4, which I think provide the same level of design, uh, which we only spent uh, less than a dollar. Uh, that's about it guys so hope you get some insight from uh this video and see you on the next one